No, I have to agree with you, and we are speaking with the great Joe Gibbs here, and you're listening to the John Riggin Show. Joe, I want to know what went through your mind on that trip you made to Kansas back in 1981. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, been, uh, you corrected me on one or two things on it, but I use that every time I have a motivational speech, and the people have heard it, but I won't go into whole detail on it. But at the end, we're sitting at the table in the morning. I'm trying to talk you into coming back. And you leaned across the table, and this is the first meaningful thing you said to me in that meeting. You said, you need to get me back there. I'll make you famous. And I looked across the table, and I went, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Nobody would say that to their coach. This guy, he's a fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> Well. I said, I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to get stuck coaching a fruitcake in 10 years. I said, and so I said to myself, I said, there's only one way out of this. And I, all of a sudden, it don't, I'll trade him. This is perfect. So anyway, I go back to Washington. You call me two days later, and you said, Joe, I made up my mind. I'm going to play next year. And I went, yes, this is perfect. I'm thinking, I'll get him back. I'll, I'll trade him. I'll get rid of the seagull maniac. <laughs> and and then you, the next thing you said to him, you said, uh, there's only one thing I won't put in my contract, and that's a no trade. <laughs> hey, you know, what, you know what the moral of that story is? I tell everybody, the moral of that story is, John Riggins made me famous. <laughs> well, I would like to think that's true, Joe. I actually really would. But what I recollect, and by the way, just for the record, your rendition of how that thing ended is much better than mine. But what I recall is is that we walked out to the car, and I looked at you, and I said, you're going to be a great coach with or without John Riggins. Of course, now I have to add to people that say, of course, I didn't mean it. But then, then I have to add, of course, damned if he didn't go out and do it. So I guess we both got a pretty good twist to the same story.